Now we will look at the second example of the quadratic equation. A baseball is hit when it is three feet above the ground. When it is three feet above the ground at the speed of 100 feet per second and at a launch angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal, the height of the baseball, this height follows a trajectory which is given by the equation minus 0.0032x square plus x plus 3 where x represents the horizontal distance from the point where the ball was hit. Now the A part of the question says how high is the ball when it has traveled 20 feet forward? When the ball has traveled 20 feet forward, suppose this is a point of 20 feet, what is the height of the ball? We need to calculate this height that is sx it means you want to calculate the height when it has traveled 20 feet forward x represents the distance or the horizontal distance so s of 20 is just obtained by substituting that x as 20 in the given equation 0.0032 x square is nothing but 20 square plus x x is again 20 plus 3 so if we calculate this value 20 times 20 is 400 so 400 times 400 times 0 0.0032 0 0.0032 this value is 1.28 minus of 1.28 minus 1.28 plus we have 20 plus 20 plus 3 equals 21.72 if you look at this value this is 21.72 21.72 feet so this is the height this height is 21.72 this is 21.72 feet when the ball has traveled 20 feet ahead when the ball lands how far it is from the player who hit it when the ball lands this is the position where the ball lands at this point so how far it is from the player we need to calculate the horizontal distance it means we need to calculate x in the second case for b part we need to calculate x to calculate x because the equation the height of the ball is 0 so sx is equal to 0 in this case sx is given as 0 and you already know that the value of sx is 0 0.0032 minus x square plus x plus 3 this is the equation and if this value is 0 we need to calculate the value of x by using the formula method we can calculate the value of x easily so if I look at the formula method if I compare the given equation minus 0 0.0032 x square plus x plus 3 equals equals 0 so a is minus 0 0.0032 the value of b is 1 and the value of c is 3 so if I want to calculate x using the formula minus b plus minus under the root of b square minus 4ac over 2a this gives me minus 1 plus minus under the root of b square b square is 1 square minus 4 a is given by minus 0 0.0032 c c is times 3 over 2 times 0 0.0032 so it's minus 1 plus minus under the root of 1 plus 4 times 3 12 times 0 0.0032 over 2 times this value that is 0 0.0064 so there are two values of x x1 and x2 x1 is minus 1 
2 times a a is negative so this value will be negative you have under the root of if I calculate this value 12 12 times 0 0.0032 12 times 0 0.0032 equals plus 1 plus 1 this square root of it 1.019 so this value is so the value of x 1 1.019 means 1.02 1.02 1.02 so the value of x1 is minus 1 plus 1.02 over minus 0 0.0064 is the first value if I consider the positive sign and this value being negative we need to ignore this value so the distance cannot be negative so we are ignoring this value and the second value is calculated as minus 1 minus 1.02 over minus 0 0.0064 and this value is minus 2.02 2.02 over minus 0 0.0064 so 2.02 2.02 divided by 0.0064 and that value is equal to 315.6 31.56 this is 315.6 this is the horizontal distance so this is this much feet so when the ball reaches the ground it will be 315.6 feet away from the person who is hitting the ball.